So they would line us up in the back of the building and um, I'm waiting to get served. And I look down at the guy in front of me and he's got one leg. He had lost it from, from using. And it was almost like the ghost of Christmas future where I saw what my life was about to be, right? And um, it wasn't right then that I stopped, but it was definitely a moment that I'll never forget. What type of horrors are you seeing on the street, living on the street? Man. What I'm, are you experiencing? You know, take us into that world. Bro, I'm, I'm watching people with abscesses. I'm, I'm looking at just dirty, dirty, nasty things. Um, everything smelled like shit and piss. Yeah, where are people going to the bathroom? Right Wherever, there on the street? Bro. Yeah. Just dropping their drawers. And... You know, you're at, a, you're at an animalistic level. You're really just surviving. And the thing about um, drugs is, it, especially opiates, it, it affects the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that monitors our basic human needs, food, water, shelter, um, breathing, you know? Um, so it literally tells you that if you don't get this substance, you're going to die. That's what it tells you in your mind. Right. And therefore, you'll do whatever it takes in order to not die. Because it, you think that if I don't get this thing, I'm going to get sick. It's going to be bad. I'm going to die. Right? That's the, the thought process. So just nasty, dirty, um, horrific things. I've seen women just do whatever is necessary in order to... To, having sex with whoever i mean oh you gotta see sex gosh. right on the street then right yeah sex um people getting beat um 